Hey everybody, this is Junior Mai Talamatis with Red Team Security and Red Team Security Training. Today I'd like to talk to you about five tools that we like to use for social engineering and physical penetration testing. We get asked this question every so often, I thought I'd make a video about it. So, one of the main things that we like to use is the Nikon Coolpix P900. This camera is awesome. Not only does it take really good pictures in low light, but it also has a really awesome zoom, particularly for those situations where we're doing remote reconnaissance and we need a good zoom, or if we're doing covert reconnaissance at night and we need to take some pictures uh, of the location and what have you uh, during the nighttime. Very good for both social engineering and um, red teaming for physical penetration testing. The next one I want to talk about is, kind of goes without saying, a good pair of binoculars. Again, the camera will help with that if you got a good zoom, but you know, if you need to take a look at something really quickly through the binoculars, it works awesome for that. We have this set. It works out really well. It's not the most expensive thing in the world, but it can really help you out. The next one we like to use is, is uh, night vision. Now, why do we do that? Clearly, uh, it, it comes with the, the, there are certain parameters why you would use it. The use case would be if we're staking out a location doing reconnaissance for social engineering or for uh, physical penetration testing, we want to identify where throughout the location that we're staking out has something like infrared. If it's something we're going after at night, we also want to know what the place looks like at night, how well lit up it is, and if we're, if we're making our way on, on premise, that we don't run into anything if it's super, super dark out. So this uh, night vision really helps out as well. Uh, there are certain versions of it that uh, you can take pictures, you can take video. I don't recommend anything too fancy. This is actually on the higher end of what we would buy, but we do have a couple pairs of these, really super helpful. The next one I would say is pretty low tech. You need a notebook. This right in the rain, all weather notebook helps out. Uh, specifically a reconnaissance. You're doing long range reconnaissance, you're out in the field, maybe you're on your, on your stomach, uh, out in the middle of the of field, maybe you're ur you know, in an urban setting, you need to jot down some quick notes. If the weather is not cooperating with you, you need something that you're going to be able to write to, not write into within the rain um, or snow or whatever that might be. So this guy is super helpful as well. Naturally, what you also need is a, uh, <clears throat> an all weather pen but very good. Secondly, most red teaming situations or physical, pen, pre uh, physical penetration testing is going to require more than just you, right? It's usually a team of at least two or more people. Having radios being able to communicate with each other, maybe you're doing reconnaissance closer up to your location or to, to the people you're following. You always want to have a good communication with somebody who's maybe waiting in vehicle somewhere who's doing more longer range, maybe watching out for you as you enter a building, maybe watching out for you as, you, as you're in the lobby, kind of letting you know what's up. Very good. Um, this isn't very covert. Some of these uh, options, especially on Amazon, will have like an in-ear that kind of goes back into, uh, you know, back into your, your shirt or your coat. Those are really helpful. They do stick out, you know, the ones that are kind of clear. So always be cognizant of that. Having a good radio, though, is really going to help you out. Uh, if you have to stash it away because you're going to be in front of people and it's not very appropriate for you to be carrying a radio, you can go ahead and do that. But having a radio period is really going to help you out. Hopefully you've, you've uh, found some value in this kind of video. I'll be doing more of these in the future. If you like and want to see more of these, please do a, a subscribe or a like, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.